I woke up this morning to see that my last video, Salute to Creationist Women, had stirred a hornet's nest of controversy in a way I never envisaged. I did, of course, expect comments like this, which is why I was at pains to point out that I was not attacking women, just redressing the balance a bit, because so far nearly every Golden Crocodile nominee has been a man. But that isn't representative of what dropped into the video forum. So let's start with this. Amina is one of the smart girls out there helping us other girls. Why do you even watch her videos? Well, I'm sure she is smart. I'm sure she's a lovely person, and I'd never heard of her until someone nominated her for the 2011 Golden Crocoduck. I watch all the videos that are nominated, and it struck me that this is only the second female nominee we've ever had. Since this is such a rare event, I thought it worth looking at other creationist women, and that's where the idea of a salute to creationist women came up. The fact that Amanakim was a Muslim never even occurred to me when I began a rebuttal of her nonsensical scientific lecture. And it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Bad science is bad science, whether it comes from Muslims, Christians, Jews, Flat Earthers, Expanding Earthers, Republicans or Democrats. I simply laid into her unscientific claptrap in exactly the same way as I've laid into every other creationist preacher who misrepresents science in the public media. Basically, his theories had something to do with this idea that man um, became more and more intelligent, and as man did so, as man evolved, man became whiter and whiter. To me, the fact that she was a woman or a Muslim makes absolutely no difference. Why should it? But a lot of people who clearly didn't watch the video immediately began to foam at the mouth. You f***ing intolerant arsehole! How dare you make fun of an innocent girl just because she has her opinions and you don't agree? I don't see the point of this video. Oh, you're so awesome because you made fun of a girl on the internet. Well, then you wouldn't see the point of any of my videos on Golden Crocodile nominees because I'm an equal opportunity scoffer. For the last five years, I've been making fun of creationist men. Grady, you're obviously able to look at the pictures from these scientific papers, but for some reason you can't read the captions. The problem the evolutionists have, though, folks, if we extrapolate backwards just to 20,000 years ago... How long? 20,000 years ago! 20 million? Not 20 million! 20 billion? Not 20 billion! 20,000 years ago, the heat produced by the magnetic field would have liquefied the Earth! Get the fuck out of here! That's just 20,000 years ago! And a million years ago, folks, get this, the magnetic field would have been so strong, it would have vaporized our planet. Vaporized the planet? <laughs> now, I had to think long and hard about this, because even for a creationist theory, this is nuts. So you think by now that Andy would get it. Where nah. did the chemicals come from? Where did the planets come from? How did the chemicals make all the planets? Well, Andy, if you can't be bothered to listen to the answer Aaron Ra gave you, then do what I suggest all clueless creationists do and check out the library room at your local primary school. I want to be kind to Kirk Cameron rather than suggest that half his brain must have been sucked out in a freak vacuuming accident. Occasion, I should find new life inside. You may smile at this. <laughs> But as soon as a woman is the target, she's an innocent girl, and her scientific baloney apparently shouldn't be criticised. I don't hold back because of someone's gender or religion, and I don't see why she's any more innocent than Ken Ham, Peanut Butter Man or Crocoduck Boy, who, like Amanakin, choose to preach science on the internet. Amanakin is an intelligent, thinking adult who chose, of her own free will, to publicly post a video teaching people that Darwin's theory is something about humans getting whiter as they became more intelligent. If another YouTuber like Nephilim Free had said the same thing, I would have torn into him in equal measure, and I'm sure I wouldn't have received a lot of messages about how he's just an innocent boy. And it's not Amanakin's opinions I disagree with. She's welcome to her opinions. I'm rebutting her claims about scientific facts. For example, that chemical reactions happen by chance. And I hope I showed very clearly that they don't. That's the whole point of doing these videos. It's just plain wrong saying abusive and hurtful things about one's religion. Oh, obviously I Love Geneva Lane didn't watch the video, but that's no surprise. Nothing in the video said anything abusive or hurtful about Islam, just as none of my other videos say anything hurtful or abusive about Christianity. What I go after are misleading scientific claims and the preachers who teach them.
The only time I mentioned Islam in the video was to make the point that if I wanted to learn about the history of Islam, I wouldn't reference just one book that set out to show that the religion was nonsense, and I'm sure Muslims would agree. We're allowed to believe whatever we want! I suggest the whiners watch the video before commenting, because you're beginning to sound a bit stupid. If you watched it, maybe you would have heard this. Of course, you can say that at the beginning of time, an invisible being dictated that this is how atoms should interact. Believe what you like, but the fact is that this is how chemicals do interact. Now, I really don't care what you believe. If you want to believe a deity made the universe, that's fine. But if you go on a public channel and misrepresent science, then expect to get rebutted. What right have I got to rebut you? The same right you have to put these videos out in the first place. No, and I don't need permission. If someone presumes to lecture others about science on YouTube, myself included, they can expect to have their videos copied and commented on. It's called fair use. Trying to shut this down is censorship. It's sad that a video about science that makes no criticism of Islam or religious belief should be made a pawn in a stupid religious war by people who didn't even watch it. Because once they start commenting, then we get fanatics on the other side spouting their own version of hatred and abuse. I've had to remove two posts from this video forum, and I don't think I've needed to remove that number so far this year from all of my other videos put together. But the gratuitous racist abuse they contained against Muslims shows just how extreme people get in trying to stir up anti-Muslim hatred. I was going to show the messages blanking out the profanities and the racial slurs, but they were so bad I couldn't even do that. Years ago, I lived in Brazil and built a house in a favela in Salvador da Bahia. Like most of Brazil, it was a multiracial area. If one of my neighbors had to describe what someone looked like, they might say he was tall, fat or ugly, but they'd also describe his skin color in some detail. A bit darker than me, he might say, about the same color as Lucia. But if I tried the same thing in Britain, how can I describe Fred? Well, he's a bit darker than Mike Tyson, but not as black as this bar of chocolate. Yeah, people would be outraged. It's not about being PC, it's just making the assumption of prejudice in sensitive areas like race and religion. In Britain I'd be branded a racist for describing someone's skin color as a way of identifying him. In Brazil, skin color is just another feature. I should be as free to criticize Amanak in science lecture as I am to criticize Ken Hovind's, Ken Ham's or Peanut Butter Man's. If you mistake this for an attack on Islam, sorry, but you're an idiot. And if you complain about it on the forum, which you have every right to do, you become a whiny idiot. Oh dear, you're going to misunderstand that, aren't you? I'll get comments like, you're calling Muslims idiots. No, again, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about those who comment without watching the video, without taking in or trying to understand what's being said. It's about those who foam at the mouth over an imaginary slight. Of course, I can understand where this sensitivity comes from. When there are other idiots on YouTube and public intolerance against Muslim beliefs is rampant, it's easy to retreat into a defensive posture and assume that a rebuttal of anything someone says is an attack on whatever religion she happens to hold. But learn to tell the difference. If you can't tell the difference, then that polarizing gap is never going to be bridged.